what's going on guys we're back with another video today is sunday so i said you know what i feel like picking up a machine with the low boy today so here it is unit 75 i just stopped to get some fuel got the low boy hooked on as y'all can see all the lights are working properly like they should and i'm excited this is going to be the first load i do in about a year with this truck strobe lights are working and i gotta tell you the truck looks good with the low boy and it always did back then when my dad had this truck that it wasn't painted or nothing i still thought it was a good looking truck and it still is gonna head to the neighborhood where I lived most of my life Spring Branch right here in Houston Texas and we're gonna pick up my dad's excavator so my dad's truck with my dad's low boy are gonna be pulling his excavator back to the yard look at the lights got the underglow turned on too let's go ahead and uh, take off let's go
just got here to the pickup address. There's an excavator. And I just have to unhook the T800 from the low boy and load it up. Drop the airbags already. guys I got the excavator chained up chain over the bucket binders on the trucks strobe lights are on time to roll
back at the yard guys like you can see unit 75 is put up already already hooked up to the low boy with the excavator i also went ahead cleaned the radiator blew it with the air compressor check the oil oil is good i'm gonna grease it tomorrow once i get to the job site but man i gotta tell you guys i am so glad i took unit 75 on this load because these past days i've been feeling like i need a little more motivation to work and do stuff to do videos i just feeling down i don't know for what reason but taking the truck out today it just kind of makes me feel like i need to push now i need to need to grind i need to work I need to get going i need to do bigger things so i'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed this video just like i did uh driving the truck this thing works amazing i forgot how good this truck handled how it ran i don't know why i had this mentality that it was a detroit it was gonna need more power and all this but the truck runs fine it runs good like you guys saw in the video that thing was flying obviously not like this baby here but it moves i like it i like it a lot i don't know i might have to take mine out the insurance and put this one in there before the year ends and do some cool stuff to it but with that being said guys what i'm gonna do right now uh not the last video but the one before i told you guys to drop some uh questions in the comment section so i'm gonna go ahead and answer those right now the first question is how did you learn to drive the excavator and did you ever get nervous hauling it at first so to drive the excavator and the skid steer those are machines my dad owned and i was around them for a while so i pretty much knew how to use them but as far as the other stuff like bulldozers sky tracks um bucket lifts things like that i pretty much some of them would youtube it how to do it and you can kind of figure out what makes it go forward backwards how to control the the tilt the speed and all that but it's really not that hard once you get on the machine all you got to do is turn it on start messing with the levers with the buttons and you'll pretty much get the hang of it and as far as did i ever get nervous hauling at first yes i did especially when it was something oversized and i still do to this point but it's nothing bad it's actually good so always be a little bit nervous it makes you feel a little bit more cautious of what you're doing and that way you know that you have a big responsibility on you so it's normal to be nervous when you're hauling something second question is how old are you and how long have you been driving for i am 26 years old and i've been driving since i was 22 i got my license when i was 22 years old so that is about four four to five years that I've been driving next question do you have any plans even if not soon to customize the mini Mac like you have unit 95 and unit 75 so the ones that have been in the channel since the beginning before I had this truck I had the mini Mac I was doing videos with the mini Mac and with my dad's truck back when I was just driving that one helping my dad out and yes I thought about it plenty of times i do want to fix up the mini mac put some nice aluminum wheels visor paint the box uh do a lot of cool chrome accessories on it it's just right now it's not the moment yet i want to finish with these two trucks because obviously these uh grab more attention and the mac we use it a lot over there in uh splendora so it gets dirty a lot it's in the mud it's in the dirt and I use these trucks way more than the Mac, so that's the reason why I want to focus on these two trucks. Then I'll focus on the trailers, and probably after that I'll do the, the Mini Mac. But that was a very good question. Any tips on how to get into heavy haul? I get that question a lot, believe it or not, but that's something hard for me to answer for the reason that my dad was in the business, my uncles, uh, my cousins, so this is something that kind of runs in the family hauling equipment I don't really have to go through no process of starting from the beginning working my way up I kind of just got in it because of them, but I mean my best advice is If you're not doing flatbed you can start doing flatbed hauling small stuff like sky tracks Work your way up. I'm pretty sure there'll be a way for you to, to work your way up Just kind of show the work you can do and that you're really interested in doing it 
put all your effort to it. That's that's my advice to you. Will there be more upgrades going to Unit 95? So there's other things I do want to do to my truck. The first thing I'm gonna do is probably something that I'm gonna do here in a few weeks. I want to put some train horns on it. I don't know if I'm just gonna do a single train horn setup like my dad's truck, but I'll probably do a double just so it can be a little bit louder. I want to do that. I want to do underglow, get a bigger bumper, stretch the frame. But stretching the frame, that'll probably be the last thing I'll do to it. And I don't think it'll be anytime soon for the fact that right now it's the perfect wheelbase. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the truck. I really like the way it looks. When is it a good time to sideload this kind of equipment? I've seen you do it a couple of times, but not every time. So, mostly side loading. A lot of people do it. If they do a residential demos like, like us, we gotta go to very fancy high areas and the city limits. So, it's a risk when you unload in the streets to scratch them up, especially if it's asphalt, because asphalt it's not like concrete it's not that solid and it depends the machine too you don't want to do side load on a very big machine where the track sticks out more out than what is sitting on the on the trailer but lately I've actually been unhooking a lot more I haven't been side loading at all lately even if I'm on the street I don't really care because uh, that's making the boards on my trailer last me way longer and also this trailer is pretty beat up on the sides already you guys have seen it and the less I side load the better even though I'm pretty good at side loading I'm not gonna say I'm the best but uh, I don't damage the trader at all when I do it one thing for sure is the biggest machines that I'll side load is like 320 cats uh, 210 John Deere's now anything bigger than that like a cat 330 I will not side load that at all that sticks out a little too much and I like going from the front loading it from the front also the Komatsu like the Komatsu 240 the one I moved that day I will never side load that that machine the tracks are too wide and that's just I don't think I could get it on there perfectly straight on the first turn you know so that's a that was a good question what motivated you to start trucking and buying the T800 so what motivated me to do trucking obviously my dad since I was a little boy I would ride shotgun with him doing end dump loads and I remember that like it was yesterday. So I've always wanted to do that. I've always liked trucks. And I always dreamed of having my own, fixing my own. So that's kind of uh, what motivated me to buy this truck. I always had an idea that I wanted to fix a truck. Also, before I got my CDO, before I was trucking, I would see guys on YouTube with pretty cool rigs and I would just say to myself one day I'm gonna buy my truck fix it up do videos with it another question is why don't you put an 18-speed transmission on your T800 I have thought about it and that's something I would like to do down the road but it's nothing that I'm gonna do anytime soon you guys can see on the videos my truck does pretty good with the 10-speed a haul equipment I'm overweight almost every time and the truck runs good with the 10-speed so not complaining about that at all I might not even put an 18 speed transmission at all to be honest that's how comfortable I feel with this transmission and I think it pulls just fabulously what do you have to do to get your CDO so about four or five years ago I obviously went to the DMV took five tests made an appointment to do my driving test five months after I did the driving test and I passed it that was pretty much it it was very easy uh, I'm not sure what has changed but I know this year 2022 the rules or something like that changed so I don't know I couldn't really tell you what you have to go through now to get your CDL but I do know it has to be something different also if any of you guys have gotten your CDL in these past weeks or months if y'all know what's going on drop a comment below what is one of the things you hate the customer always complaining about like you left a mess on the site or something like that I have never gotten a complaint about leaving a mess even though sometimes I do but you gotta remember that most of the mess, once people start driving on the road, they'll just start picking it up with the tires and carry it away. Once it rains, all that gets washed off. So it doesn't affect it at all, to be honest. But the thing I do hate, the customers always complain about is the price. They always wanna pay cheaper. Now, before we finish the video, guys, don't forget the link will be in the description below.
Shop GR Trucking. Get y'all some of these great looking hats. We got Unit 95 Richardson, black with yellow. That Caterpillar colors. We got another Richardson with the trucker embroidered on it. Just look at that embroidery. Maroon Trailero, new drop. This one just came out, restocked it. This was one of the originals from a few months ago. And they're about to sell out, so get one quick. The OG T-800, Yupong, snapback. Stitching's on point right there. And one of my favorites, this one here, there's only like two left, guys. I love this, this color right here. That silver with that orange Canadian flag. Beautiful, beautiful hat. Click that link, guys. Get y'all one of these hats. We also got a good selection on shirts and the grind don't stop safety vest, the sweat rags. Once again, guys, thank y'all very much for joining me on another video. This one was special to me because I hadn't driven Unit 75 in a while. I really, really wanted to do a video with Unit 75 hauling something just so we could put it out there. I'm sure you guys were looking forward to it just like I was. So this was a, a very, very great video. Out of the nowhere, I just got to the yard. I said, why am I going to go pick it up in my truck? It's Sunday. Ain't no cops out there. What can happen? So I'm glad I took Unit 75 because now I just want to push harder, work harder, finish it so I can get it going. And we'll see what the future holds. But that'll be it, guys. Stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.